Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Adif Bedizal I from class 4C My metric number is 2021-103091 Today I would like to share to you about transgenic plant Do you know about transgenic plant? Transgenic plant are those whose DNA has been altered by genetic engineering. This indicates that one or more genes from a different specific are added to the gene structure of the plant and combined with it, altering the features of the original genes. Although horizontal genes transfer has been demonstrated to occur naturally in nature between plants that grow close to one other. Some plants have had gene sequence artificially inserted in an effort to increase yield, improve environmental tolerance, or increase resistance to specific biotic stress. To develop these features, genetic engineering has continued to be used the various types of plants. Transgenic plants have their gene modification by genetic engineering either by the addition of a foreign gene or the removal of a particle harmful gene. It is possible for a foreign gene to originate from a different specific or even a different kingdom when it is inserted into a plant. A wide variety of transgenic plants have been developed, ranging from dicot to monocot that are susceptible to genetic modification with major agronomic features including insect resistance and drug tolerance. The main objective of transgenic plant breeding is to create crop with deserved trait, excellent quality and high yield. The application of the latest technology for transgenic plant is Resistant to biotic or abiotic stress. Naturally, biotic stress comes from the stresses by other living things in the same environment. This might be microorganism, virus, herbivore, or indigenous plant. To confer resistance against various pathogenic diseases that are carried on by pests, bacteria, and virus. Disease resistant genes are inserted into crop plant. This includes tolerance to herbicide. The use of costly pesticide and herbicide in agriculture may decline as a result of the introduction of genetic modification technology. In order to overcome this problem, it is necessary to use genetic engineering technology to provide plant improved stress, tolerance or protection. Plants that are resistant to drug and suck have been successful created by the modification of transcription factor, late embryogenesis abundant protein and antioxidant protein. The trans transgenic plant with osmotic stress resistant are produced by the overpressing the proline biosynthesis enzyme, which enables to build up of the osmoprotectant during the dry season. In order to defend the plant against insect pests, insecticide toxin genes from the bacterium can be inserted into the gen of the target plant. A higher yield and better quality of crop will result from the removal of the natural pest. In conclusion, many parts of conventional farming research can be complemented by biotechnology rather than replaced by it. It provides a variety of tools to help us better understanding and manage the genetic resource used in agriculture and food production. This tool has already helped with plant disease diagnosis, treatment, and prevention 
as well as breeding and conservation program. The use of biological give research new information and resource that improve the effectiveness and efficiency of the work. This makes biotechnology-based research initiative a more focused extension of conventional approach. So, that's all for me. Thank you.